I think what they're doing here at the Aerospace Museum of California is unique, something I've never seen before, and a wonderful opportunity for the kids. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, where you come from, every kid has the right to dream, and every kid in America deserves a pathway to be successful. And this joint's doing it. We're gonna keep steering it straight. Looking pretty good. Are we pulling? The work that's being done here is very important. You change lives one kid at a time. Come on, you guys. You light that spark within one kid at a time. What they're doing here at the Aerospace Museum of California, opening the doors, come look at our airplanes. By the way, all that stuff's cool in that museum, but without kids in there, that museum's dead. Okay, you bring kids in the museum and you allow them to dream and you tell them the stories and you teach them to fly these sims, they walk away a changed human being. They walk away a better human being. One of the unique opportunities here is for kids to, to open up their minds in, in terms of an ambition for the future, to get them to be stimulated to engage in STEM education, science, technology, engineering, math. So if this weighs a pound and I pull five Gs, how many pounds do I have on my head? And to help them understand that they can, they can actually do this. So this is the new flight zone that we've developed here at the Aerospace Museum of California. And each one of our simulator pods was hand built. Everything that you would get in a real airplane is right here. So the kids can come in, they can sit down with a CFI instructor, a retired airline pilot, and they can fly whatever airplane in whatever city they want. And then they have a great CFI mentor with them kind of where these generations of uh, kind of the older generation teaching the new generation about aviation and aerospace. When you have young people, you put them in a little trainer and you tell them this is what you do and, and let them see for themselves and uh, get a feel for sitting in the cockpit of a little, a little training type thing. You get them excited about what they can do and make them move the controls. And they, some were just little children, and one day they grow up. Doing something that you love to do, you can excel, you can be good at it. And so, you know, if, if it's fun to do, um, learn that profession, no matter what it is, and if you have that passion, you can, you can do a good job at it. We're going to need 200,000 pilots in the commercial airline fleet in the next 20 years. And other opportunities in aviation, all the way through um, mechanics and air traffic controllers, and in all other phases of aviation, these kids might find it daunting to think about pursuing such a career until they have a little bit of hands-on experience, till they sit in one of these simulators next to a certified flight instructor and handle an aircraft to feel that it's something that's potentially possible for them. Too many kids never get a chance to visit a science museum. Let's give these kids a, a leg up. Let's help them to be stimulated to engage in uh, STEM education. Let's help them reach their highest potential, a potential for their future that they might not have the opportunity to feel without our encouragement, without us giving them an experience of success. I think we all want to give something back in life, and, and this is a great place to do that. And lots of individuals here who give their time freely. It's right from the heart. You know, God bless the volunteers. God bless the sponsors who put this together. And you know, the, the cool news about all that, that's America, because we believe in our future. It's a wonderful place for kids and adults. <laughs> you guys ready for this? We want to go airborne, right? Okay, okay, three, two, one.